What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I wanted to help out somebody that recently had a comment on my latest tutorial on School of Motion asking about when they bring their Cinema 4D materials over the Unreal Engine, something's messing up there. So I wanted to help them out and show them exactly how they could fix this. Now inside of Cinema 4D, basically I have everything set up. So I have some stuff here over from Mega Scans, and I just put it inside of a cloner. And then down here, if I hit Control D on my keyboard, you can see I have Cineware selected and I have save polygon cache and save material cache, everything at 4K, PNG, 16 bit. So you just wanna save out your typical Cinema 4D project. And then from here, we're gonna import it into Unreal Engine 5. And so with Unreal Engine 5 opened up, I'm gonna come over here to edit. And I'm gonna come down here to plugins because there is a new plugin that we actually wanna use. So right here where it says Cineware by Maxon, this is the new Datasmith importer that we wanna use. And this is gonna be by Maxon. The old Datasmith importer is this one by Epic Games. And if you don't know where to find this, if we're over at maxon.net, we come down here to products, then come down here to Cineware. You're just gonna scroll down here until you see Cineware for Unreal. And then I'm just gonna select learn more right here. And once you're there, you're just gonna scroll down here a little bit until you see where you can download the plugins. So you just wanna install this one right here. And once you do, you'll see Cineware by Maxon right here. So I'm gonna exit this out. And then we're going to come up here where we have this little cube with the plus symbol. And we're going to click on file import. And once we do that, you see I have my Cinema 4D project file right here. So I'm just going to click on open. And I'm just going to put it into my content folder and leave everything here at default. So I'm going to click on import. And once everything's imported, if I just zoom in here, hold down a right click, hitting the W, you can see that everything came over. But everything is just looks like a clay render. Like if I come down here, actually under materials, you can see that we have our material here. We have our textures and everything that came over, also geometry, but the material doesn't look like how it should. So if I come down here to materials, I'm gonna double click on a material right here. And then I'm gonna make this enlarge. And this is where we're gonna be able to control the materials. So right here, for some reason, it has use reflecting color turned on by default. If we just turn this off and then click save, not everything should import and look correct inside of our viewport in which there we go. Now we have it correctly imported inside of Unreal Engine 5. So as simple as that, hopefully this helped you out. Again, I do have a new course on School of Motion, so make sure you check that out. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe. Leave me a comment down below if this helped you out. And until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.